we're on a uh, Baja 2004 Baja 30 foot high performance boat cabin cruiser starting out at the helm here uh, we've got a well laid out instrument panel here you got uh, throttles on one side and clutch on the other you got Lavorsi gauges uh, tack on both sides volts oil water temperature and oil pressure and then we've got a fuel gauge in the middle We've got trim tabs, which are the uh, K-planes. We'll go take a look at those in a minute. And then we have a backup depth finder here. There's your uh, your trim controls. And then uh, on these switches, we've got the depth finder, a blower, accessory, fresh water pump, electric engine hatch, nav lights, and a horn. And then over here, we've got uh, cabin lights, courtesy lights, engine room light, stereo bilge, and exhaust. Um, silent choice exhaust and down here we've got the uh, Zintex fume detector we've got a built-in Seafire uh, Halon fire extinguishing system there's your two keys we've got emergency shutoff down there there's a speaker and then we've got our fuse box behind that panel there and then here's our Clarion remote uh, going into the cabin, speaking of remotes, uh, we've got a outrageous stereo system in here, uh, and this is the uh, this is the brain of it. You might have to explain this stuff to me. What we got? We got a crunch. Fifteen hundred watt crunch, and what is that power? For the subwoofer, and you got two? Two subs. Two 12-inch subs. Two 12-inch subwoofers back there. And then on this side, we've got stacks. we got one four channel that drives these four speakers in the cockpit. All right, so one drives four speakers in the cockpit. And then you got two channel that drives two up in the cabin. And then you got a, okay, I don't know if you heard that, you got a 1600 watt that drives the four speakers in the cockpit. And you got a 1250 watt that drives the speakers in the cabin. And then, uh, what is this? Those are just capacitors. That's go okay, so this is voltage. Voltage. Okay, and over there, that's a capacitor as well? Keeps the steady voltage so batteries don't dip low. That's nice. That's really nice. All right, and this is all enclosed in the walls of the head. Still have plenty of room to do your business. We got a uh, pressure pump uh, head here with a macerator. So, and also uh, we have the table here, and there's the stand for the table, and that is the cabin table. So that's the head. Close the door there, and we have this great layout of a cabin. You can see you got your, uh, your post there where, this, where the table goes. You got wraparound seating for six, eight people here. This vessel does have air conditioning. So, there's your vent right there for air conditioning, there's another vent, and I'm sure it gets pretty cool in here too. Um, we also have a forward area that's it's kind of small for a berth, but underneath there is the air conditioning unit. Um, but you do have room up top, and obviously he's got his fenders up there, but you could put, you know, your uh, whatever you want to put up there. Um, small person could uh, sleep up there quite easily now this V if you will uh, converts to a full-size berth if you see these notches right here and right here um, those uh, plates sit across those slots and then the two side cushions uh, fill in the middle so then you have a huge berth in here, so definitely could be overnight. Uh, you've got a huge berth that's air conditioned ahead and behind me. We got a very nice galley. We got a refrigerator down there. We got a microwave. We got a stainless steel sink with running water. And then there's your air conditioning controls. You got your 12 volt, which is the main main switch refrigerator and a television is there a television no television and then up here we've got uh, refrigerator microwave accessories battery charger outlets 
and more accessories. And then here's a Clarion uh, disc changer. You got your carbon monoxide alarm, and what is the switch here? Uh, just a little light. Oh, it's for a light, okay. And uh, so, very nice cabin, beautifully laid out. And then you have a, a curtain that slides across there as well. So let me sit down and look aft so you can see what it looks like. And then you've got nice uh, hatches here that have screens. The vessel is in immaculate condition. All right, we'll go take a look at the cockpit. All right, again, we're back on the cockpit. And we've got uh, dual bolstered seating. And we've got the, uh, the adjustable uh, seat so you can you know, do your stand up and drive. Uh, we also have a bench seat in the back here, which is uh, probably enough for four people at least. There are cup holders and storage compartments everywhere on the boat. All of them very clean, lighted. Okay. And then we have the engine, so I'm going to press the electric engine hatch here, if I can keep the camera steady. Alright, there it goes. Alright, hold on, I'm going to steady out in a second. We got to drink too much coffee today. Alright, that's good. All right, so we've got twin Merc uh, 496 Mag HOs, uh, Latham Marine accessories, beautiful engines, spotless like brand new. You've got a, there's the Halon system back there. Our meters on the back are both identical at 139 hours. Um, behind me, or sorry, below me is a. Uh, it's a seat cushion that houses the, we've got three separate water tanks here, fresh water tanks. Um, and I, I suppose one of them's for wash down, one of them's for the sink in the cabin, and the other one's probably for a transom shower back there. We've got these two uh, large uh, D batteries, double D batteries, 27 DPDL, very nice. And then under here is your uh, battery switches. That's a breaker for the stereo. And then you've got your uh, your trip breakers over there. So very nice. Put that down. And we can lower the, the thing. Thank you. Beautiful upholstery. We've got some brand new carpet in here. It really looks good in this cockpit. Uh, of course, you've got a nice big sun pad back here. And that is if you're not doing the 70 miles an hour that this boat can do. So these lift up. So you got vents. You got vents in there. That's really cool. Okay. So looking forward, nice open bow. There is a cockpit cover and a full boat cover that comes with this vessel. Also has a bimini top that attaches uh, three points. There's one there. One there, and there's one further up, so keep you out of the sun. All right, we'll go take a look at the outside next. All right, here we are on the outside, uh, looking at these awesome uh, Bravo One four-blade propped outdrives, the Bravo One X. Uh, we've got all Latham Marine uh, steering hydraulics here. You got your exhaust under there, big old K-plane trim tabs. And there is, uh, you see the battery charge is plugged in right here. But that, is that shore power also? Will the air condition? Also. Yeah. All right, air condition runs on shore power. And you got a nice swim platform there too. All right. Awesome uh, triple axle trailer. Of course, it's the Heritage trailer. And we've got a toolbox mounted to the front. We've got a spare tire. All the tires look to be in excellent condition. They are uh, disc brakes on all six wheels. So, a beautiful boat, great package. All offers are welcome. Let me just show you the side graphics here. Here it is. This is Baja 30 Outlaw.